The Dating Show, brought to you by OlderDatingOnline.com. In this edition of The Dating Show, we're talking about reading. Now, do you like books, Debbie? I do. Now, you've got a book there. I certainly have a book here. Fifty Shades of Grey. What a classic. (laughs) An all-time classic. Now, one of the producers has told me you've not only just read that once, you've read it three times. (laughs) And you've also read the other two three times. You've read sort of them nine times or something? I think that's a slight exaggeration. I have read the three books in the trilogy, but nine times... No. And can I ask, why Why did you read them? I'll tell you why. I bought Fifty Shades of Grey because it was the thing of the moment, wasn't it, a couple of years ago. Everybody was reading it, and yeah. I wanted to find out what all the fuss was about. Yeah. And did you enjoy it? Well, actually, the first thing I noticed is it's not very well written. There's a lot of repetition in it, and there's just so many times you can read that she shattered into a million pieces. She's what? Shattered into a million pieces, Rod. Okay, right. Okay. Now, we are talking about books, and uh, we're hearing from an author, uh, a lady called Lucy Novak. Now, she's written a sort of erotic type book. It's called A Woman with No Strings Attached, a memoir by Lucy Novak. And uh, Julian Perkins put the questions to her. How did you get into writing erotic novels? Well, it was my experience, really. I sort of... uh tried to do something slightly different because I had a partner, I have a partner who is abroad a lot and who is not sexually jealous. And what we did was basically I was experimenting with his knowledge and consent and it was quite exciting and unusual and so I wrote a novel about it and it's just a background to it. Okay, so this is written from your own personal experiences, partly. partly. Mm -hmm. So what gave you the inspiration to do this? Were you uh, you, uh, an avid reader of uh, Fifty Shades? I never read Erotica, funnily enough, uh, and it's not Erotica. My book isn't really. It's like a memoir, really. And uh, I always read a lot, and I always wanted to write. And whenever I tried to write something, uh, I stopped because it wasn't good enough. And when I started writing this, it suddenly seemed good enough, and it just flew off my fingers, and it was quite exciting. And I rewrote it several times, but I was quite happy to carry on, and it was very exciting, and it's something completely different to what I normally do. Now, of course, in recent years, uh, we've all heard about Fifty Shades of Grey, Mm. and lots of others as well at the moment. It's becoming, uh, let's say, erotic novels, especially by women, are all the rage at the moment. Why do you think that is? What's going on? I am not sure. I think, I mean, first thing, I would not call my book an erotic novel because it is not meant to arouse, and I don't think it is. Uh, It's more like a a sort of one woman sexual revolution, finding out that sex can be fun even when it's not with love. Uh, Things like uh, when you're a bit older, because it is about a woman over 50, uh, you can enjoy sex as much as, as a man can. And there are a lot of taboos about, like taboo about women do not like uh, no strings. That might not be quite right. Uh, taboo about uh, older women not being interested. That might not be quite right either because they don't have to worry about contraception and lots of other things. I think uh, the society became more open about it and uh, so it's easier to write or publish books with this sort of theme. But I still think there is quite a lot of double standards about and paradoxically the double standards make, make it more exciting for people to publish or read books like this because they feel they're crossing some sort of boundaries. Still different standards for men and women out there. And now that the book is finished, Mm -hmm. do your experiences carry on, or is that now uh, now in the past? I finished doing it for other personal reasons, actually. But um, I don't regret doing it, actually. I think I learned a lot. It was... In a way, I was I had a sheltered life before. I was married for 34 years, uh, and the sex in the marriage was fine, but not terribly exciting. And uh, I sort of matured quite late 
started learning new things, and I think in a way it was a win-win situation for a lot of people. I mean, I didn't destroy anybody's marriage. There were two occasions when there looked like somebody will fall in love with me, and I stopped immediately because that was not the deal. Uh, my partner probably got more excited think partner generally because of the experience. And it was fun writing the book. And I presume you've learnt quite a lot, so your uh, your sex life with your partner has probably improved a lot. I think definitely dramatically so, yes. I also think I became a better doctor because uh, I feel that sex is important in life and it's important in life on older people too. And I make my patients uh, find out things or tell me things which... They might not find easy to talk about. I facilitate it by open questions so they can either tell me something or not. And certainly men have erectile problems which can be sorted. Women can sometimes have problems which stop them enjoying sex. And uh, in a way, as a doctor, that was quite a discovery that uh, I thought it was definitely influencing my medicine in a positive way. Is this being published online or in, in a hardback or it's softback? Bo- it's paperback and an e-book, and it's on Amazon ever since yesterday, so it's very new. can't believe Julian answered that question. Is it being published <laughs> in a hardback? Or softback, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that was uh, Lucy Novak, and her book is A Woman With No Strings Attached, a memoir. I need to meet this Lucy Novak. She has an amazing accent. She does. She's um, from the Czech Republic. Lovely. And I love the concept, actually. It's empowering for the older woman. And, you know, mummy porn has been big over the last few years, but this is clearly a different genre. Yeah, OK. I'm actually writing my own book at the moment, Debbie. Ooh. Yeah, it's um, The Search for the Holy Grail. It's oh, a yes. sort of it's an erotic novel. Oh, yes. It's... Um, called The Search for the Holy Grail. Sounds or I might, familiar. <laughs> or I, might, I, might, I might call it The Quest for the G-Spot. <laughs> the Dating Show, brought to you by olderdatingonline.com.